Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. This is a recap of the late stream. It's my birthday today. Just turned my birthday. Um, but if you want to join me on my streams, please check out uh, the link in my description. It's called the Good Free Photo Channel. I am using that as my backup streaming channel. Um, I'm also having another channel called Crypto Daily Update, and that is one video per day of all the great crypto news encapsulated into one video. If you want one video to actually... Uh, get all the news for today and only watch one thing that is where to go that will bo both be in the description and the comments so let's get on with the news bitmax has actually reduced the bitcoin stores by 25 percent now that gets me a little bit nervous if i was a holder i'm not a holder so i'm really not all that nervous um i do hold part of my holdings but i swing trade some of that and that actually gets me pretty happy because that means bitmax has, uh, sold off some of their bitcoin and they might want to buy in at a uh, lower price so they might sometime actually tank the price of bitcoin i'm actually waiting to see like uh, once the economic figures actually come out for this week uh, for the unemployment to see if that affects the crypto market as well because once that happens people actually might get a little more scared um they're gonna they're going to go on basically the stimulus check or the unemployment stuff but a lot of times that won't replace their full salary so we'll have to see how the economic unemployment numbers come out and see if the government tries to hold it by only reporting unemployment numbers through the 12th or something we'll definitely have to keep an eye on that and how the market reacts to that because i think the crypto market will somewhat react to that well as well maybe not as much as the stock market but we'll have to see um, what actually happens tomorrow as the numbers actually come out but bitmax reducing their supply by about 25 uh, bitcoin by about 25 percent um, that does get me a little bit worried i do think bitcoin has a chance of tanking uh, and there was also like like i said um, a six point a 630 million dollar transfer from a custody wallet to some other wallet i don't think that move i don't really think that move is as big as the bitmax transfer but bitmax might manipulate it so a lot of the longs actually liquidate on their site uh, uh, on their um on their server and that could actually push the price down bitmax does have the power to actually push prices down or up we've seen that in the future i mean not in the future in the past obviously you can't really see it in the future so i would be a little nervous about that nothing is guaranteed but it would scare me a little bit that bitmax is reducing their btc holdings uh, for right now and by such a large amount as 25 percent so that's the news for bitmax um i actually want to explain to you why the crypto economy would actually have some trouble see like an economy based on crypto, people really like it because the government can't print any more money. And that's true. It couldn't inflate stuff. But here's the thing. In a crisis like this, they would really have no way out of it. Uh, they would actually have no way to provide relief. A lot of people say, well, the, you can't print more money. Why don't you just increase the value of money? First of all, you can't just hit a button and magically increase the value of money. That doesn't work. You can not actually just print more money. Just You know, you can, you can actually just like turn on the printer and print more money, but you can't just like magically go into everyone's head and make them think that money is actually worth more. That It doesn't quite work that way. But outside of that, the thing is, even if you make the money worth more, people that don't have money still don't have money. Like when you print more money, you can actually give some of that printed money to people that don't have money. When you increase the value of money only, all you're really doing is increase, you're increasing the value of people who already have money. But let's say you make $1 worth $5. If I didn't have any dollars in the first place, I still don't have any dollars. So it really wouldn't help the people that actually need it the most because you have nothing to distribute because you're only increasing the, the wealth of those that actually have money. So you would get a lot of the same problem with the rich being super rich and the poor being super poor, except you don't have any stimulus or funds to give people who don't have any money in the first place. So like having a constrained supply would actually mean that you can't actually bail people out. You can't bail companies out, which some of you might like, but you can't also you can also not bail people out in a time of a crisis like this. And yes, crises like this will happen whether you're using fiat or cryptocurrency. Because if the coronavirus hits, if if the if the virus like this thing hits, um, then regardless of you're using a crypto or a fiat. I mean, you're going to be using it and you're, you're going to be kind of using it. Um, you're, you're going to be closing shops and businesses anyways, and people are still going to be out of a job and out of money. So that really doesn't affect it. When you have a pandemic like this hit, it affects everything. And whether you're using crypto or fiat doesn't really make that much of a difference. It, the only difference is you can't print money to actually give to people to relieve them. So that's why like a crypto economy would definitely have problems in the modern economy. And that's why being able to print money is one of government's uh most powerful tools to actually uh, to calm people down and also control the monetary system. So that's why they would actually never go for something like this. Another thing is Cardano, right on the heels of right on the heels of Byron, 
uh, Emergo actually has launched a t uh, a coffee traceability platform in Indonesia. So once Shelly actually launches, there's going to be a lot of stuff on Shelly, right? There's going to be a lot of products and business products on Shelly. So it's not launching to an empty platform. So that's really good for Cardano. Um, I expect uh, once they launch Shelly and Gogon, all this stuff to come on. I expect them to have a lot of transactions within a very short time. And hopefully they can st start competing with Ethereum very shortly. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.